Well, coworker music. This is a term I've seen pop up more. Yo, coworker music? Oh my God. Like, like that's how you know like people's tastes and shit. Oh, coworker music be the weirdest shit. More and more recently in online spaces. Someone commented coworker music on this TikTok and now I'm crying, bro. That just sounds like um Tom McDonald. I wake up in the morning and I see the things happening in this country. Democratic politicians, political bullshit. Yo, you say you know you want to watch it? Max Z, thank you. Thank you, Max Out. You said Eminem at one point was like the only person with uh, battle rap roots who could write decent songs. And then after this three albums, the battle rapper curse caught up to him. Like this is a co-worker rap to this core, I guess. And on one end, it's pretty obvious what it means. But on the other, there's so many levels and interpretations that ultimately don't need to be talked about. But I want to anyway. So today we're clocking in and going on a dive into the corporate world of coworker music. What do you think of the music? It's like typical radio. Sometimes I like the song and I just kind of start dancing. <laughs> and if it wasn't there, it'd be just really quiet and you'd hear, you know, other people shopping and things dropping. What is coworker music? In short, it's pretty much an evolution of the term NPC music. If you're not familiar with the term NPC, uh, you are one. I'm just kidding. It's a stupid, self-righteous term that originated from people that are chronically online and don't interact with many people that aren't, but it's short for non-player character, which are all those little dudes walking around in GTA with no direction or purpose other than to probably get ran over at some point. You ignorant fool! You gonna get fired on or what? You ain't getting nothing out of me! Damn! You're very rude. You're very rude. Damn! Back in my day, when I was a little tiny lad, we would use this to describe music that's so completely inoffensive and commercial that it can be hard to imagine anyone purposefully seeking it out, let alone being a big fan. Any Sia song, Pyramid Scheme music, Maroon 5, Retail music, Imagine Dragons, anime- Look, I like Sia. Stop shitting on Sia's music. Mind you, I listen to Sia's music and not even her mainstream shit. I listen to a couple of, like, Sia shit that weren't mainstream and she makes genuinely good music. Oh, is he talking about like anime music now? Okay, Pyramid Scheme. I never even heard of Pyramid Scheme. Game music. Maroon 5. Maroon 5, yes. 5. Retail music. Imagine Dragons. Anime yes. music. No, it depends on the anime music, bro. It depends. It depends. You can't just say anime music in general. Uptown Funk. Middle school. Bro, Uptown Funk is a bop. How dare you? Middle school music? What is considered as middle school music? Everybody has different eras of middle school, you fuck. School music, Flow Rider, Homecoming music, Ed Sheeran, prom music. Okay, I can't lie. Ed Sheeran is very NPC. Prom music? Prom music could be music that's just popular at the time. Music, ACDC, movie trailer music. Damn it, you're gonna put all the good Avengers. You're gonna put you're gonna put Marvel's peak era too? This is like Marvel when it was like at its peak, bro. Iron Man OG. Thor OG, Captain America, The Avengers, Iron Man, like what, two or three? Come on, bruh. I hopes by Panic at the Disco. All of the above. That would lead you to believe that anyone that is seeking out this music surely must be an NPC. Bro, play some music and make sure it's- I mean, a lot of those are very popular. And then it's like, shit like Panic at the Disco is it, it, shit millennials grew up with. So anybody in today's age to say oh panic of the disco is very normie i'd be like bitch um you weren't even in the era when they were out like you're literally just following out to be a trendsetter i don't know bro i like panic at the disco old school it's good oh you want some music no problem it might seem crazy what i'm about to say but usually when it comes to npc music i feel like 100 percent it's radio music you know what's a big NPC song right now? They're not like us. Oh my god! 
bro, they still got that shit on loop everywhere I go, bro. I walk into a fucking mall, all I hear is, din, 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 din. they not like us. They not like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm tired, I'm tired. Yes, bro, it reached NPC status. It's everywhere now, bro. Like, I get it before, I get it, but now it's just, it's overplayed. Like, I'm tired of it. The second I hear it, I'm like, get me out of here. Oh, I love this song. Bro, stop. Turn this shit off. Okay, I prefer then. Meet the Grams. Like definitely isn't happy. <laughs> you like anyway, that song? That's the dark song. one. I don't like that song. Yeah. That song made me uncomfortable. I think we've all met someone like this. And if that's you, that's fine. You're good. Nothing to be ashamed of. Some people are just more interested in digging for less known music. And some people just don't care. And are Yo, I'm telling you, SoundCloud is so nice to go there. Bandy Camp. Bandy camp or band camp or SoundCloud is nice. Perfectly content listening you wanna find, to like, whatever new they shit? like that's pretty popular. It's not a bad thing at all. I mean, the person that's making fun of someone else for liking NPC music could have the most basic taste in movies. Which majority of the time they do. Usually people that come after you and say, hey, you listen to this, eh, 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 it's basic as shit. I'd be like, all right, so what do you watch? Uh, I watch, uh, uh, I watch regular show, Adventure Time. Oh, uh, Steven Universe, uh, uh, I'll be like, shut the fuck up! Shut up! And just be interested in Steven Universe, the bro. Marvel movie is. And there's certain bands and artists that are frequently lumped into this category of NPC music purely because they're so commercial and popular. You said hop off regular show? Nah, regular show is actually gas. But I'm just naming, like, generic shows, like, like, Adventure Time. Ugh that you don't really encounter people that are huge fans of the band itself, nor just people that listen to them because it happens to be on the default Spotify playlist. Don't worry, okay? I've got this last song. You're gonna like it. It's a banger. And I know- The biggest thing too, I know I keep pausing chat, I'm sorry. The biggest thing that I hate about TikTok is that people only sing parts of a song and then they don't know the rest. So it's kind of like, for example, a song will come on and they'd be like, I know this song. And then they will only sing the part of the TikTok song, and then the rest, they don't know what the fuck they, they, they singing. So you know that one song that goes, I wish I knew you wanted me. So they would only say that part. They'd be like, oh, I know this part. I wish I knew, I wish I knew you wanted me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they don't know the rest of the song. So now they're just stuck in that part that they only know from TikTok from seven seconds and they look like an idiot because they only sang one part of the song. Learn the whole song. No bangers. Oh. Now that we've got the term NPC music out of the way, it's time to take a step into the workplace. If you've worked in smaller food service jobs or even some retail ones, you might know that when you happen to be gifted an actually nice boss, sometimes the workers might actually be allowed to connect your phone to the aux. I worked scooping ice cream for a year, and let me tell you, despite the families, Yo, when I worked at Dunkin' Donuts many, many, many moons ago, there was this one song that used to piss me off. It was the one song by Rihanna that goes, why don't you make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world? Like I'm the only one that you ever loved? Every time that song came on when I was working at Dunkin' Donuts, I wanted to kill myself, bruh. And GTA, like that shit had me fucking pissed. Another song that used to piss me off when I used to work um in, in Dunkin' Donuts many moons ago. I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. Oh. Bro, I wanted to haymaker everybody. With... 50 children I hated those that songs, bro. Wanna try Overplayed. Every flavor. The one thing that consistently kept me sane in that job was that I was allowed to completely control the ox and play almost whatever I want. It's a place of business, though, so there's obviously a pretty strict limit on the kind of stuff. Yeah, you just can't play songs with curses, so you most likely just gonna have to get like a censored playlist and you can play whatever songs you want and just let them censor what they're gonna censor. If you can play. So I had to create a tailored, specially curated playlist with my most inoffensive music that no- Yo, I'm so glad no cap that I'm not working retail or doing any of like this type of work now because no cap, my sister sometimes tells me about like her experience when she's working at work and shit. Bro, she'd be like, all they do is just put K-pop on the aux. 
bro, I'd be fucking livid if all day, if I'm working at a job and all I listen is to K-pop. I'd be fucking pissed, bro. Pissed. 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 I don't want to listen to that shit all day. Who family of 50 could ever complain about but it doesn't always just work out that way just listen to Japanese Sometimes there's music days where you come in later if someone or says maybe you anything about it nice. fuck him. you said i swear you used to like k-pop look i like k-pop but if if that's all you're listening to if your whole catalog is k-pop and bro there's some people out here like their whole catalog list is just k-pop like they listen to nothing else but but k-pop and and i'd be like bro do you even understand what they're saying and then half of them be like and I'd be like, all right, buddy. I'm like, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. I'm like, that's all you play? Like, you don't play anything else? You don't play R&B? You don't play rap? You don't play techno, dance, electronic, nothing? And unclench your fist from the aux for once to allow your coworker to put on their music. Now, I'm sure most of you have been in the situation where you have a coworker that's a perfectly nice guy or gal, but you and don't. And the music they're playing is shit. Like, the second they put on the aux, it's like Lana Del Rey comes on. I'm like, kill me. Lana Del Rey? entirely relate to them and you probably wouldn't be their friend or even acquaintance if you weren't forced to be around them so there's that kind of surface level relationship you form where you have some nice small talk but it never really gets that deep then one day your coworker comes up to you with your headphones on and goes yo what kind of music do you listen to you're thinking oh god oh fuck how do i summarize my entire music taste into i'd be like bro i listen to majority of rap if I'm gonna be honest, I know some people are gonna be like, hey, you're unoriginal. I'm like, hey, I listen to rap. But if you give me other songs that are very catchy, that has a nice hook, nice chorus, and, and it's very like, you know, I'll get an earworm. I, I know that's a crazy term. It's been a while since I use earworm. If you get a good song, hey, and, and, and you can recommend it to me and I like it, I'll listen to it. One artist or genre. And then you panic and just say something like hip hop and rock then he goes oh sick man you listen to imagine dragons they're probably my favorite uh, rock band. what about drake you said you like hip-hop right yeah i love them the thing is that's just one kind of coworker, though and i personally have encountered quite a few different kinds of coworkers <clears throat> with different kinds of coworker music and I bro i had a, look i had a coworker once when i worked um retail and i don't know what the fuck I was very surprised when she when she put that song on. I remember we were closing. It was a closing shift, and we and me and her we were closing. <coughs> she was like, she was like, oh, I want to play a song on the radio real quick. And I'm like, yo, do whatever the fuck you want. I just want to close and go home, bro. She puts on a song in the aux, and I was like, ain't no way this bitch just played that song, bro. She played a high school musical song, and the way I looked at her when she came out, I was like. Ain't no way. Like, I don't know. I was cheesing. I was like, oh, high school music. <laughs> I don't care, bro. Look, high school musical got bangers, bro. Look, 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 look. I don't care what anybody says. If you come up to me and then all I hear is living in my own world. Didn't understand that anything can happen if you take a chance. I was like, wait a Me minute. High school music musical, what the as fuck? As I tell my co-worker, I listen to radio music Bro. lying through my teeth. What? Me playing persona music in my headphones that I tell my co-worker that I listen to radio music through my teeth. Bro, sometimes I tell people that too. I'll be like, yo, I just listen to, I listen to everything. I, I can listen to rock, even video game OSTs. I'll let people know. But High School Musical, I have a soft spot for it because I grew up with High School Musical and I genuinely like the movies. So when she came out and my face was like, you listen to High School Musical? She was like, you know High School Retail Musical? stores should start play gay hip hop songs on the speakers. I want to see people's reactions when Kamo Come starts on? blasting on the speakers. Come real sticky, uh. And I honestly think Nasty it's a electric. little more nuanced than that. I wanted to ask you guys what the comes to mind song when you two? think of the term coworker music to see what other people consider this to be. And while I got some pretty different answers, there were some common threads linked throughout. I'd say coworker music is... Bro, here's my thing though. There are just certain songs in life that if you play those songs, I feel like... I feel like there are certain songs that you can play in life that if you play that song you instantly build a bond like this instantaneously if somebody 
I didn't know them was to play this shit right next to me. The, the look I would give them, and I'd be like, nah, I got to know your name. We got to be friends. Some shit like this. Bro. Somebody come up to me playing this shit. We friends, bro. We friends, bro. I got a secret. Formula. It's just a little bit of We friends. Got a secret. So keep it on the low. If I tell you, make sure nobody. Bro, if somebody come play this shit next to me, we friends. You said music does not connect people. Oh no, music does connect people. You see Zav, I can't read. The baseball song. Okay, boomer? Bro, how y'all gonna call me a boomer? No, I can't lie, bro. The 90s was a while ago. Like, I'd be thinking, like, the 90s be, like, 10 years ago, but the 90s was really a while ago. Yo, regardless, bro, at the end of the day, guess what? We're the last generation that got to play outside, and we grew up with the internet. Every new generation that's coming out now is fucking cooked out the wazoo because they're never going to experience playing outside. All they're going to do is just be tablet kids and have fucking shitty-ass ADHD and have all types of fucking weird-ass um, attention span problems. Mama, mama, I need my tablet all the fucking time. Nah, bitch, we got to play outside when we were kids. Shit, I got to play outside. Everybody growing up now, they got pure brain rot. They're fucked, bro. They're fucked. We grew up when the internet was was forming, bro. Like, what what the fuck you guys know about? You got mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't even know about that shit. Y'all looking at me confused. Huh? You got mail. What you know about you got mail? <laughs> Why are you sending me the whole high school musical shit? Bet on it. Ooh. Everybody's always talking at me. Everybody's trying to get in my You say head. all that yet you have the attention span of a zoomer. Did you ever? Did you ever? Did you ever? Brazil got some bangers. Gonna it's stop that's song from the who 60s. I am. I gotta go. Is my plan. Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. That is the way. Today is the day. Am I the type of guy who needs what I say? Disney about to come for my ass because I played that snippet. GG's chat. Disney coming for me. Disney's coming for me.